Well, hey there, everyone. Happy Wednesday afternoon. King 5 meteorologist Adam Claybon here to hopefully give you some good news on some warmer days. It's not going to be by much, but looks like next few days temperatures, snow levels high enough that we're not really so much worried about snow here in the lowlands. We are going to get quite a bit of it up in the mountains. We'll talk about that, but we'll also go over now that we're in March, how this pattern of cooler and sort of wetter than normal conditions will be around at least for the first half of the month, probably even beyond as we go deeper on into these upcoming weeks. Now let's go ahead and get into it because today is one of the breaks that we have in the action as we are seeing some cloudy skies, but also some some breaks to go along with that. I'm generally just cloudy for the time being here early into the afternoon in Seattle. Same story for us in Tacoma. Just a few more breaks in the clouds, giving us some sunshine there. And then you can see up in the mountains where we are going to get hit with feet of snow over the next 24 to 36 hours. It looks like paradise looking gorgeous, all plowed and all ready for hopefully some traffic up there sometime soon. We'll see what kind of goes on with these systems rolling on by. Now, as far as what's happening out along the coast, we have cloudier conditions out there. Some rain too will be there shortly. La Push, cloudy skies, Westport, more sunshine there, but still just generally cloudy. And then Bellingham seeing the cloudy skies there as well. And let's go ahead and take another stop over here at Granite Falls because there are a few spots that, yeah, are still dealing with that snow that is on the ground. Now, Granite Falls were one of the few spots and one of the few spots that actually got enough snowfall for it to stick and accumulate for a little while. Everett, it's been a chilly but a partly sunny day and live here in Olympia. You can see clouds racing through the sky. A few sprinkles going to be possible here into the evening, but better rain chances holding off until we go late into the night. Same for Seattle. We won't really see those until we head into your early Thursday morning. Now temperatures still well off of those averages. Normally we should be at 52 degrees for a high. So here as we head into about the 2 p.m. hour into your afternoon, low to mid 40s, nowhere near. And I wanted to show you this right here. So this is the 8 to 14 day outlook, and this is talking about temperatures here as we go through. Uh, it looks like the dates of March the 9th through March the 15th. So we already expect things to be cooler than average here over the next week. But the second week, as we go a little farther beyond Climate Prediction Center, seeing a lot of cool numbers here, cold numbers here across the western US. And the darker the blues, well, the higher the confidence it is that we're going to be below average and just well below average here across the state and probably more of that so across the eastern half of Washington. And then we're expecting to be above average with our precipitation. So we're still going to keep things relatively active. Nothing really too huge as far as any of these systems. And you can see the lighter the green, slightly above average as we go on to the second week of March. But it is expected again, yes, to be above average with precipitation cooler than average when it comes to our temperatures, which will probably mean some more mountain snow and maybe some more flirts with that here into the lowlands too. But you can see highs over the next uh, five days, low to mid 40s, that average high 52 degrees. So we're about five to 10 degrees off of that. Satellite and radar picture showing showers right there out along the Olympic Peninsula coastline and that's going to be increasing here into the night and that will be part of the system that will eventually come on in and helps to produce quite a bit of snow into the Cascades and over the Olympics. Now I wanted to go ahead and pan on down this way. This is Southern California down into Arizona. Check out what's happening in the Baja of California. That's Mexico and into the mountains. They have snow down into some of those parts too. Not unheard of, but uh, definitely you got to have some really cold air in order to do that. So that system is heading on through. We have our next one coming in, which is in the Gulf of Alaska, and that will be heading towards us here as we head on into the night. And once that arrives here tonight, expect more of those clouds to be in place. And again, we are expecting that with that, we are going to see some heavier snowfall across the mountains and for your passes. The snow levels will hover around 1,000, maybe 1,500 feet throughout tonight and into the start of tomorrow. It'll start to come down a little more as we head into the second part of tomorrow. Now, the forecast here for the rest of today, yeah, those showers holding off until we head into the night. And really before midnight, we're only talking about a few light sprinkles here and there, most of that being shadowed by the Olympics. So if you have evening plans, I think you're good there too. No worries about a washout of any means, but future radar shows that later tonight, 9 p.m., those showers do start to fill in here around Puget Sound. We'll start to really see what, what's happening across the Cascades blossom after midnight, and that will blossom even more heading into Thursday. What I mean by blossom is you see a lot more of those bright whites beginning to pop up here across the Cascades, and for that matter of a fact, too, across the Olympics. 
that will mean some heavier snow coming in throughout that time. So travel during uh, the post midnight hours tonight and into the earlier half of Thursday. Not going to be the best. You probably want to hold off until the second half. So that's going to move on through and we'll continue to deal with that into your early Thursday morning. Now it looks like over Kitsap Peninsula here, parts of Puget Sound, the lowlands. We're just dealing with rain, maybe a few snowflakes mixing in and colder air aloft does start to move on in. So later into tomorrow afternoon, maybe tomorrow evening, you could see a few more snowflakes as we head on into that time. But uh, no worries about anything accumulating with that. We'll continue on into tomorrow night. You can see more waves of moisture coming on through that convergence zone between Everett and Seattle. That will start to fire up and it's within that area again that we'll see the opportunity of some rain and snow. And I think maybe into some of the foothill communities that will get some snow out of that and maybe some minor accumulations of maybe an inch or two or maybe even less up there across northern King County, southern parts of Snohomish County. As that continues to push on by, colder air settles in for Friday, and so we head on into the earlier half of Friday, 9 o'clock. Here we are, and you're seeing cloudy skies, maybe a few showers here and there, a few snowflakes also here and there, but nothing too widespread or too heavy. That's going to bring us any sort of major concern as we head on into that time. Now, continuing on, let's go ahead and show you what's happening into Friday night because that's when it gets a little more interesting. Colder air, lower snow levels start to come on in, and I think Hood Canal and areas right here over the Kitsap Peninsula will have a better chance of seeing some additional accumulating snowfall right over into those parts and better chances here western Kitsap Peninsula and then the farther north you go just north of Everett as we'll have some cooler, cooler air kind of locked into place. Now I think these chances are going to be fairly low when it comes to accumulations right around Puget Sound and right around sea level but above 500 feet and as you get especially around 1,000 feet, your chances are going to look a lot better heading on into late Friday night and early Saturday morning. And you can see that reflected right here in the snow accumulations uh, in our modeling. We have more of those chances over Hood Canal, over the Kitsap Peninsula than we see anything right around Puget Sound. So again, those will be your best chances and into the foothills of around 500 to 1,000 feet and above Friday night into Saturday. Now the mountains, I did mention that they are going to get hit hard with feet of snow. Crystal Mountain, one of the lower numbers on this market, you can see that's at 11 inches through Saturday morning. Then you can see places such as Snoqualmie Pass, uh, Hurricane Ridge, around a foot and a half, two feet across possibly. And then you get up around Mount Baker, we're up there near three feet of snow. Stevens Pass with a convergence zone kind of hitting you. I would say two to four feet. It's definitely going to depend on where the conversion zone sets up. I don't know if we'll get four feet of snow, but we're definitely going to be above maybe two feet of snow as we go on here into the next couple of days and white pass up around three feet of snow as we're expecting that all that moisture to come on through and snow levels to remain definitely low. So 2000 feet today will be one of the higher levels that we have for the time because on it to the day tomorrow we're down to 1000 feet and we'll keep those marks around 500 to 1000 feet all the way through the weekend and to start off next work week. Forecast here for the rest of today, those showers coming in later on into the evening, but most of us should stay dry until the nighttime hours farther north with highs in the low 40s, back in the mid to upper 40s around Bellevue, Renton, Seattle at 45, 45 in Paul's Bowl, and then you can see also farther to the south, things fairly dry until we head on into the nighttime hours up there around Hood Canal, maybe Shelton, Belfair, keep an eye out for a sprinkle or two here into your evening commute. And your forecast tonight, we start to drop those temperatures back down into more of the mid 30s. Most spots again staying above freezing, so no big concerns about that wintry weather uh, concerning you for your morning commute and no impacts expected from that unless you are again driving through the mountains and through those passes. We'll see highs up back in the mid 40s for tomorrow afternoon, low 40s on into Friday and we'll start to bump those numbers up slightly again. I did mention that at the beginning of this that we see a slight warm up in temperatures from the 30s and the low 40s that we had late last week and early this week, but the overall trend is that things stay much, much cooler than normal as we head on into the first week, possibly two of March. But guess what? Only a couple of days away and then sunset. It's going to be after 6 p.m. next weekend, not this upcoming weekend, but the following weekend we'll have daylight saving time officially start and then it will be after 7 p.m. So there's your good news there, but definitely keep an eye out and keep an eye out on the passes and those conditions if you're going to be driving through there late tonight on into the earlier part of tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful Wednesday and we'll talk to you later.